Now let's create a new workflow. We'll go to the Workflows JIRA Administration page and we'll view the workflow for a business project. Let's scroll down. And you can see this is a simple to do in progress done workflow, which we can copy and use as a basis for our new development workflow. It's usually easier to copy and edit an existing workflow rather than trying to create one from scratch. So let's return to the workflows page and we'll copy this workflow. We'll call it dev code workflow and give it a description and click copy. Now we're in the workflow editor for the dev code workflow. Let's check this to show transition labels. Now first we'll delete two transitions. We'll click on this transition name reopen and start progress. We'll click delete transition and then confirm. Now we'll delete the done transition from to do to done. Next, we'll add the new status. We'll click on Add Status, and from the drop down, we'll select Encode Review and click Add. We'll move this over here and move this status down here so it's below in progress. Let's just click on this white space to close that dialog. Now we'll move and rename the done transition. So we'll click on this done transition from in progress to done. We'll grab this little black dot and we'll move it to encode review. We'll click save. We'll highlight this done transition again and we'll click edit and we'll rename this to code review past and save it. You can reuse the done transition as it has a default post function that sets the resolution of the issue to done. For a development workflow, you would probably want to add a transition screen to this transition so the user can set the resolution. Now we'll create two new transitions. We'll click add transition and we want this to go from the in progress status to the in code review status. We'll call it ready for review and click add. And we'll create another transition from in code review to in progress and call it code review failed and add that. Now let's move these around so it's a little clearer. If we grab the transition, we can grab these points and make it a little tidier. When you edit an inactive workflow like this one, the changes are made immediately and so you don't need to publish your changes like you do when you're editing a live workflow.